All right, students, I got another question and one that uh, hopefully will, will help a number of you here. Um, but this is uh, from chapter uh, six, and it's number 22. And of course, chapter six is all about momentum. And a very important uh, principle uh, we learned here is if you have uh, two things interacting, the momentum before, so we'll make a column here and say before, uh, is equal to the momentum after. And uh, so let's look at our, our two objects. Uh, if I draw a picture here, they say they have a box car. And so maybe I'll draw a little box with a couple wheels. And so here's my train car. This is a box car. And this box car is traveling at 10 meters per second. Now, they don't really say what the mass of the box car is. So let me just call this M for, for mass. Okay. But it says it approaches then a string of three identical box cars that are sitting stationary on the track. So this would be like in one of these switching stations, perhaps. Maybe just outside of Los Angeles where all the freight comes in and comes in by ship and then they move it over to the trains and then it goes on the rails and goes around the nation. And so maybe this, uh, this cargo needs to go to, say, the East Coast. So it comes into the port of Los Angeles, and uh, as they bring it up the rail system into the switching yard outside of L.A., about East Los Angeles, uh, maybe they'll load up a cart and they'll send it down this track. And so maybe they've already had three, and this is going to be the train that's eventually going to go to the East Coast. And so they load up another one, and they send it down that track. And the idea is it's going to hopefully hit it and couple together. But the movement of this one will make this one move, and so there'll probably be kind of a end of the track, kind of a little stationary spring there to keep things bouncing around so that they can all hook together. But, but, but this is the, the idea of the problem. We're hooking up uh, a, a bunch of cars here. And so in this case, we've got one of mass M, and we've got three identical ones, which... Probably if they're identical, these would probably be empty ones. And so maybe it's the reverse. Maybe they've unloaded their cargo on the East Coast and they're hooking them back together to send them back to the Port of Los Angeles for the next round. Who knows? Uh, but that, that being said, uh, let's just read the problem here. And it says a moving boxcar collides in and links with the stationary one. Then the four move off together along the track. What is the final speed of the four cars immediately after the collision? So this is a conservation of momentum where the momentum before equals the momentum after. So before they couple, before they hit together, I might say, okay, let's think of this as two separate objects. Uh, this would have momentum and this would have momentum. So over here, it would be the mass M traveling at a speed of 10. And then also this other clump here would have a mass of 3m, because there's three of them, but it's traveling with a speed of zero. So the total momentum only comes out to be 10m, because that is zero momentum, not moving, and then, of course, 10 times m. Now, that has to equal to after they hook together. And so if you can imagine now this one hooked on here... <coughs> And, of course, that coupling would make these starting to move, but would slow this one down. So they'd be moving off together. Clearly, something less than 10, if <clears throat> this is going to slow down as it pushes those forward. But at this point, you could probably just think of it as one big object. So I'll think of it as 4m traveling at some unknown speed, uh, v. So this would equal to 4m, v. And I think what can make this one a little... Challenging for students is they're like, Wayne, I don't know what the mass is. And so just, that's fine. Just, just keep working with it. What you know is that when they couple together, there's, there's four of them. All right. So what that would do is then break this down to V equals to 10 over 4, which comes out to be 2.5 meters per second for the speed after they, they couple together. All right. Hope that helps.